Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Journey to 2000. This is day number 35, and let's just jump straight in. I want to say a welcome to all the new subscribers, which I seem to have got since I played Chess Vibes. That was um, a really cool experience, and welcome to my journey. And I just appreciate all of you kind of jumping on board, which is amazing. So we're going to go for the English. Okay, now, I've been guilty of pushing e4, and I quite liked it, and I've heard that it is an actual kind of way to play the English, and I've, I've seen it as well in videos, but I have been getting caught out lately, so I'm going to be a little bit more cautious about it, but I'm going to press d4, sorry, d3, I think that's fine. Okay, now I'm going to develop my knight, just basic development moves, and then I'm going to castle. Okay, I think castling's fine here. So in a lot of my games, I've been guilty of allowing the knights to get into really sort of dangerous positions. Um, and it's a funny one because it's not a kind of instant thing, but it gradually happens. So. See, now is a situation where I'd feel kind of e4 to me seems to make sense, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do that. So what I am going to do, I think I might double Fianchetto. That works for me. Okay, so now they want to do that, potentially. We could just push, but... For the time being, this is doing nothing, so we're absolutely fine. I think we're going to... Do you know what? I was thinking about Fianchetto, but I'm going to go here, because I just don't think, for the time being, this is a long kind of... That might not happen. They might have eyes on this at some point, but we could just slip here before that kind of unfolds. So let's just keep it... Let's keep it tight. Now, if they push... Okay, now I think it's the time to do this, because if they push, and then we take... And for example, they take and then we take, that would be exposed. So we're gonna do B1 um, for the rook. That just seems like the right thing to do. Okay, interesting. So now, if they push forward, then this would have been under attack. Now they're attacking this. So what we can do is, I think, if they want to take this, that's fine. It just opens up things. It's it's not a big deal. There's nothing else really for them. So so what I'm going to do, or do I just want to... This bishop isn't doing much for me at all. So now I think I can maybe just go like this. Maybe develop my knight. They can push. If they push, I can just come back. And in fact, sorry, if they push, I can just take their rook. And that is probably that is my initial reason for putting my um my bishop on a three. So okay, now. Now what can we do? So can the queen come in? Not really. Nope. So now if we push, we just lose this. So we can't push this. Maybe we go somewhere like here, trying to open up. Then they push and then we can't. So we need to come up with something better. See, again, I've allowed their knight into a really nice position. So I'm going to slip back. And that's only because if I do end up pushing this, then they can't just take. Well, actually, the queen will be there now. My bad. Okay, cool. So they've, so they've done that. So now, if we kind of, we can just. It seems passive going all the way back. But we're gonna do that. We can always come back round another way if needs be. Just lining up the king, maybe. Cheeky little check there. 
maybe we push on if they take we take with check take that that activates their bishop just trying to keep things keeping things tight as usual just want to make sure that nothing's kind of we're not blundering anything a few weeks ago I was having a, a real horrible time in terms of just blundering basic pieces and I, I don't know that was just a sort of it happens I was just I wasn't informed lately I've been sort of playing at a slightly better level okay so now they're gonna do this so again this can't really hasn't got much prospect if I go here, does that work? What about if I stick to what I'm doing? Because for the time being, if they get in there actually, do you know what? I'm just not going to allow that. Do I push with this or maybe you push here? Now I can push this. That's fine. Can't go there. So you go all the way back. Okay, so now what about if I push here? See, now I need to try and advance forward. They, they've been kind of dominating the sort of the press, and I'm going to try and... Is that the right move? Again, this is a really interesting game so far. Just It's the little kind of... It's the little details that make a difference now. And I want to keep my pawn structure kind of sound. So I don't want to start pushing things just for the sake of it. I need to figure out a better way for me to get my... Um... See, I'm thinking maybe just try and... Do you know what? I'm going to do this. And then maybe if this opens up, then I've got two eyes over here. See, I think when games are this tight, you need you need to just look at the sort of the the vulnerable pieces. Now they've kind of caught on to what I was trying to do, I think. So I'm going to now develop this again. Over here seems okay. So now if I go this way, if they want to push on, we've got a completely closed closed game where I think their knights could cause a lot of damage and the bishops don't really have a look in the game. Is there any way I can try and get to that? Push forward. No. I take and I don't want to double up my pawns. So So yeah, for you guys that like tactical games or you like sort of tight intense things, this is one for you. Okay, so now what are we going to do? I don't want to take with this. I want to keep these two there. So if I let that come in, I just take. If he goes there, I take and open up the rook. So that's what we're going to do. If he takes here, same applies. Open up the rook. So we're going to do that. Now, I'd, move. I'd quite like to keep. See, if I go here you take, I take, then I've got two eyes on this. So I'm going to now try and try and command the center a little bit myself. I can't have them having their own way. And I think I'm okay for this. If needs be as well, I might just have to move this back. It seems a bit sad moving the same piece, but I just feel that I might need to kind of have extra pressure on that okay so as we discussed now we will open up this it's okay maybe move the queen forward one and then have the rooks connecting so now we've got to think about these knights coming in because these knights could cause all sorts of carnage is it worth maybe that if they do that, then what? Queen shifts across? Or rook, maybe? Hmm. 
Yeah, this is tire. Okay, that is interesting. So now what? If I go here, they take, we take. So let's move this over here now. Why? Because if we want to do our idea and they take, which they have to otherwise they lose this, then we take, then we've got pressure on the queen and pressure on this. Can't see that happening. I'm sure they'll do something about it, but it's an idea. And when things are this tight, you need to come up with all sorts of various different things you might have to do. And as it currently stands, I mean, it's... Okay, so they do that. So now we can go, if we go here, that's, that's fine. If we take this... still got two eyes on this that's fine now our bishop looks a lot stronger although ideally it would be over here looking at this king so not the best position for it if we go here where does the knight go or do you just defend like so ideas of maybe going here I think that just invites their rook over then we could maybe right now they want to do that right we're going to attack you okay it's fine I'm expecting rook over here if so, I will probably just come back. There is a check. Gets taken, or I leave it and just move to the side. Okay, now, as I said, I'm just going to go here. If you try and come in, I will take cover twice. Now, again, what are you going to do with this? Because that is under attack. You take... I take with pressure on the queen and pressure on this knight. Spoke about this. So, ideas of coming here now. The check, forcing the king back here. Yeah, it's still pretty tight. Okay, so they do that. Now if we take, if we take, they will take like this. I'd have thought. Well, how about this, actually? Let's do this. We're going to take, and they're probably coming like this. We can chuck in a check. Does that do anything? Or should we now be looking at trying to pick up pieces? Because I think... We go here they'll push on close the position so maybe we can't take that but yeah this is really close so I think maybe this no I, that doesn't work for me Okay, so now I am going to pressure this. I, I don't see any sort of... There's no real check there that does anything. The king just moves to the side. As as the same, same applies here. If this wasn't here and this wasn't here, my king can just move to the side. So now that comes in. Um, what are we thinking? Check. I go there. And then queen can possibly come in. That looks dangerous. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go here.
we're going to go there. If you go there, I'm happy to trade it off. Another little idea is maybe a check there. If you get sloppy and take, then I take with a fork on the queen and the um, and the rook. Does the queen come into action here? If so, okay, now I can't move. So I have to kind of slip over here. And if I do that, that's fine. That's fine. So I'm going to do that. Now, you'll have two eyes on this if you move this with the queen. So I need to be a bit more careful. question is if you go there I take you can't take back Queen takes so where can you go you could maybe go there I take and then you take if I take you take and then maybe this can't come in yet still because the book's still here that work at all no it doesn't there's just nothing there I'm sure my opponent's thinking the same thing as well and time's getting time is precious okay so now they are going for this piece here uh, we can just defend it like okay so If we go here, that's fine. We're protecting this, double protection on this pawn here. Although we are attacked twice. Okay, so now I go, what about if I take then what? If I take and then what? See nothing wrong with that. Now a check can't come in because you just take or you can't take, but hang on a minute. Now I can take this, threatening the rook. Am I missing anything? Gotta be really careful here. It's threatening the rook. So it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Um, okay, so now, what about if I... Okay, how about... You can swap off pieces if you want. I'm up for that. Yeah, okay. Now I was looking at this as well. It doesn't work though because of uh, the knight just takes. I thought I'd get my queen in there, maybe going for a check and then sort of getting the check here and then, I don't know, I was just, just trying to sort of think quickly. So now I can just go like so, attacking again, make sure I'm not messing about here. Right, and now there is a They just blunder that. Your time just got the better of, um, okay, so they're looking at both pieces here, so I can defend just like so. Check. They move here, discover, check. Um, anything I can pick up, just try and take things off the board. Four seconds left, and it's just um, or even just take that. Okay, can I slip in here? So protect this. Maybe move it out of the way. Discover check. Okay, so look, it wasn't pretty. 
it wasn't pretty at all. But I, I quite, I'm quite enjoying these cagey games where the slightest wrong move at a point in the game can. Sorry, lights went off. I um, in case you noticed, um, the background's slightly different. I'm at work at the moment. I've just uh, jumped into a meeting room, going out after work. So I thought to myself, just getting my game today, um, just trying to keep up to date with everything, you know. Um, so let's have a little look at the. Um, Look at the analysis. That was interesting. Um, let me look at the game review as well, actually. Let me look at the game review first. So, yeah, it was... Um, okay, so 87%. And my opponent has 79%. Now, I think that was quite a solid game by myself. It, it, there wasn't anything in it let's be honest, until the very end when time was starting to get the better of my opponent. Um, but let me have a little look at the um, the analysis. Uh, but yet again, really enjoying these sort of tight games. I just find them, find them really sort of, yeah, just a bit more, a bit more intense. Okay, so you start off here, yeah, that's fine. Now this time, I didn't push E4. I just went straight for the Fianchetto. That was fine. I find myself a little bit more compact today, which was quite nice. And not overextending my pawns. Um, right, this is all okay. This is inaccuracy. So they wanted the, the knight just to get involved straight away. And then if I take, then obviously they've got tempo on this knight. So I end up probably coming back here. And yeah, it just it's not a great start for me then if that happens. Didn't like that. It wanted me to just get rid of the bishop. Fair enough. Okay, now, it wanted queen forward. I didn't think that was bad. I did have reasons to be careful, I think, because obviously if you push here, and then I take, they take, for example, and then I, it just gets a little bit kind of messy, and then these things are lined up. It's just not a good look. So I think I did all right with that. Yeah. And then here... Yeah, it wanted me to go back. I did do that in a couple of moves time, I think. Should have done that straight away. They want me to take. They want to mess up my pawns, double up my pawns. Why not? I see it. Okay, then I come back. So it was only a move later. So it wasn't too bad. And yeah, seems like the only place to have gone. Okay, so it wanted this. You push on. They push on. But I just... I thought I'd keep my pawns together, and if they wanted to push, then they could start pushing. Okay, here again, I was happy to sort of, I just wanted to keep my sort of structure a bit more sound, and the computer doesn't like it. Opening up my rook, I quite liked it. Okay, it just wants me to... Yeah, I guess so, but... I was always told, like, that you should try and let them take, and then you kind of better your position. But I guess in this case, if I'd have just taken, then obviously my king, sorry, my queen is then under pressure. So maybe get rid. But then it just helps them get their other rook in. So, so I don't think there was... Okay. Right. And then I get out of the way. That's fine. And here it's got me 0 0.4 up. So... Lately as well, I've been getting into nice sort of favourable positions, but not being able to sort of convert in a convincing way and kind of stumbling across the line. That's what I'm trying to focus on now. And then I take. Okay, it wants me up there. I like that. Then I come back around. Inaccuracy, but... And I think by here, yeah, it just wants these pawns out now. It just wants to... And I was thinking maybe just a sneaky little kind of check there. And maybe slip this through and then it's protected by this bishop if it gets there. That was my kind of idea, bring this along. So I did have a couple of little ideas, but they lock it up. Then I take, take. And then here I'm just... 
here I'm good, I'm 0 0.9 up now, computer's happy with my position, it likes me, it's giving me the edge. And then I do that, okay, that makes more sense. Didn't even see it. Okay, they take. <coughs> and within a couple of moves, it's got me down to winning by 0 0.3, so I should have maybe... Sorry. Blunder. <coughs> oh my god, coughing fit. I might not live to see day 36. Wow. <coughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> Sorry. Wow, I can't believe that. <coughs> anyway, I'm alright. I'm okay. I'm don't panic, don't panic. Okay, so there, it just looks simple kind of thing. They were low on time, I was low on time, and then all of a sudden, they just blunder their um, their rook. But I think leading up to it, see, this was what was good about playing Nelson the other day, is the 15-10, it really allows you to have a proper game and really sort of, just sort of try and figure out many more moves than obviously you can do in a 10 minute rapid game I wish I I think I'm going to start doing a few sort of 10 plus 5s or 15 plus 10s or whatever but um, I, I think look when you're playing these 10 minute rapid games you do have to be sharp and there's no way you can figure out every kind of possible best case scenario for every different position so you've got to do your best and I, I think I'm alright with my 10 minutes I think I'm quite sound um, do I think I could play better chess if I played longer games? Possibly, but at the same time, if we go back to the review, I mean, computers got me playing. Um, what was it? It was um, eighty-seven percent. So look, that's not bad. I won, not by the way I wanted to win, but it was a win nonetheless. So look, anyway, guys, it's Friday. Happy Friday, and just hope you guys have a lovely weekend, and I will see you guys real soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.